We're about a 10 minute drive from that main impact site. And we are here because this is a location where one of the bodies of the, of the victims fell through uh, into the home of a resident of this small town. And I can show you to you that the damage to the, to the building is just there on the corner. The owner there tells us uh, that her son was home at the time. He heard some large explosions uh, in the distance, feared that the fighting between separatist forces and Ukrainian government forces had come to their village. He ran to the, the basement of his home and he's lucky he's, he did because a few moments later the body of a woman crashed through the ceiling and they tell us there it remained for two days. So it was only just recently removed. It shows what a big job this is in terms of finding all the victims, finding all the components, the spread of the debris across this region of eastern Ukraine and the fact that it took two days to recover this body I think shows how inadequate this initial response has been.